Welcome back in this morning. 80 years after the first Japanese Americans living on Bainbridge Island were forcefully removed from their homes, local journalists are confronting their coverage of that shameful period in U.S. history. It was the first action under Executive Order 9066, which led to tens of thousands of Japanese Americans and immigrants being imprisoned during World War II. The Seattle Times launched an accountability project called A1 Revisited. They went word for word scrutinizing their front page coverage from March 30th 1942. At the time, the newspaper described the forceful removal of more than 200 people from their homes as an orderly evacuation. Today, the newspaper is highlighting problems in the stories, like racist depictions, photos from the war that influenced the narrative, and staged portraits that inaccurately depicted internment. We used racist slurs. We, uh, you know, we used inaccurate language. It was centered on the white residents of Bainbridge Island and how sad they felt to be losing their friends and on the soldiers who were crying. Um, there was even a line that says that, you know, the soldiers were crying, but the uh, Japanese American, did not say Japanese American, um, residents were mostly stoic and smiling. And it's, it's very odd. And that's project editor Crystal Paul with the Times. She says many newspapers at the time ran one-sided editorials justifying internment. One rare exception, the Bainbridge Island Review condemned the internment and followed residents to the internment camp in Puyallup. It's my hope that as we look back, we're also looking forward, we're looking at our present day coverage, and we're learning from what we did in the past and just always trying to be better journalists. Paul says readers have mostly responded positively to the project. They're hoping for feedback on future historical events. A1 Revisited should re be covering. And we have much more on the project and our conversation with the Seattle Times on king5.com. If you want a link, just text A1 to the number on your screen, 206-448-4545. We'll send you that information. Just uh, highlights the huge responsibility yeah. and the impact that we as journalists have, mm. right, in, in terms of potentially influencing narrative and being fair and being truthful yeah. and being honest. 100%. So I think, you know, the fact that the Seattle Times is going back and, and really scrutinizing their coverage and being really upfront about it is truly incredible. It and is. And we'll do a, a good service to the people in our community. Yeah, and brave too. Yeah, hats off to you to the Seattle Times.